Hey. Ah, what's up guys? Out here putting the finishing coats on the paramotor shed. Painting's almost done, but it's like 20 degrees out. I'm sick and tired of this snow. It's been snowing for like two weeks straight. I wish there was someplace warm I could go. Maybe you do an SAV class or learn about uh, wings and maneuvers. Well, there is. I am in Ilapa, Mexico. <laughs> Ilapa is this small village just south of Puerto Vallarta. Um, and so Dave and Matt from Midwest PPG sent out an invite to all their students to do an SIV course here with Marco Herjic. I'll put it on the screen. So this is the end of our second day. All of our toes are done. First day we did big ears, big, big ears, big, big ears on speed bar, steering the big ears, and dolphins, um, porpoising. Porpoising up and down, uh, finding how to figure out how to catch that, catch that giant surge. And also on the first day we did 50% asymmetric collapses with um, steering away from the collapse, so you could steer straight or maybe even into the turn. Today on the second day, we had, sorry, my brain is a bit fuzzy from all the sun, beach time, waiting, and the, I think the adrenaline rushes, adrenaline dumps. Spirals, uh, almost no, you know, nose down spirals. And then we had asymmetric collapses, 50% leaning into the collapse, which turned into a um, sat rotation, auto rotation. And then finding our stall point my asymmetric collapse into auto rotation <clears throat> didn't quite work out like I was hoping. I accidentally let the, I'll say that they were just, my spin was so strong that my A's slipped right out of my hand and I had to, and then, which basically as I was in the sat, my wing opened up and it put me in a nose down spiral, which sort of got my heart pumping pretty good. Uh, everything was great. So I'm not sure what's on tap for tomorrow. I do know that backfly, spins, those sorts of things are usually on the list, but I'm not sure that's suitable for our beginner, that kind of an intro SIV class. Probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, so there's the third day of the class, which is tomorrow, and then Sunday, which will be the fourth day, is sort of a, uh, the boat will be around to offer toes, kind of a pay per tow, and you can use it as much as you can. Might be just kind of go up and cruise around and less, you know, intensive learning, but so far so good. Yes. Okay, let's go. Can't stop, 
As Woody would say, this is Brian from the future here. Uh, this next part, I don't have a good explanation for. I simply didn't use the brakes to get out of the spiral after the wingovers. The wingovers were bigger than I'd ever gone before, and I think I was getting uh, very freaked out. So maybe it was part sheer panic. Maybe it's G-forces uh, started, you know, the G-force haze set in. But I, I just don't have a good reason for not coming out of the nose down spiral. I knew that I should have pulled left brake. I knew which way I was rotating. I just simply didn't, and it's kind of all just a, a blur to me. I, I hit the water with pretty good force. It's currently a week after uh, I, I hit the water, and I'm bruised up pretty good still. My back is still really stiff, but nothing's permanently hurt except uh, maybe my ego. So yeah, for all um, the new pilots out there or intermediate pilots uh, wanting to learn sweet wing overs, barrel rolls, or sats, on, uh, and you're constantly checking out smaller, more agile wings, just keep this in mind. I dropped, you know, about 500 feet in a matter of seconds, even with an expert in my ear literally telling me what to do. To say I learned a ton from this SIV clinic uh, and from this incident, my screw up, that's an understatement. I know a lot more and I also know kind of what I don't know. So hopefully it puts me back where I need to be. Uh, anyway, uh, here's the rest of the, the audio from the, from after the camera moves uh, from me, you know, spiraling down to the water. Left, 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 yeah. left. Pressure, 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 pressure. I will say one thing, Yalapa, uh, this little town, village, is amazing. If you want an SAV, I would definitely talk to Marco. This is the place to come, this setup is amazing. If you want kind of a rustic small town, village where you're staying kind of in a hut with like maybe hot water and really roughing it this is the place to be and i guess one last note everything here is cheap and it's very laid back very cool and casual it's kind of perfect i would try to come every year if i could when the soul soul.